Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Got Legs, uh, the making of my summer bike or my new bike, whatever you like to call it. Before we go ahead about today's uh, topic, which is going to be saddles, I just wanted to show you something. Um, I normally ride a Jura Synth and a Pog Octal helmet, and I did something with the Octal helmet. You can see it here. If you follow me on Instagram, um, you've seen these photos of this before. I'll make another video about how you do this. It's pretty simple and it's an idea I got from a Swedish guy called uh, Emil Rosenberg, who is the one I bought my uh, Shift TT bike from. But more on that later. Uh, I uh, hope to soon make a video about that at least. Now, saddles. When I started riding my bike a long time ago, uh, the bike came with a Celitalia flight um, saddle. And ever since that, I've mainly been on that type of saddle. I had the, uh, the um, SLR for a bit um, with regular titanium rails, but didn't suit, uh, didn't quite suit me. So I went back to the new type of uh, flight saddles and then just followed the evolution. Actually on the latest summer bike I had, I had the latest version of the flight saddle, but when I got to uh, the bike fitter, he said it wasn't that great for me and I, it was hard for me to disagree actually because I never felt comfortable in that. With the flight saddles, they changed it a lot over the last couple of years. Uh, if you look at the, the model history, they have changed quite a bit. Uh, the latest one I had was, uh, oh, that's my cat by the way, that's Dave. Um, the latest version I had was uh, the uh, monorail for my Obeya bike, uh, which was really great. It was very narrow in the in the front of it and, and had comfort in the back. But when I got over to uh, the Specialized um, bike last year, they, they I didn't want to do the, the monorail thing again. Um, but after the bike fitter had me in his hands, he told me, let's try a different saddle. So we put on a specialized Roaming Evo Pro, I think it was called, a saddle which has a shorter uh, length and um, it has a bit of, of shape to it, whereas the, the, um, the flight is pretty, pretty flat. So ever since he put me on that one, I've been really happy about it. It suits me really, really great. It gives me the ability to stay out on the nose of the of the saddle uh, without any discomfort, and it's just a beautiful saddle to ride. Uh, no saddle sores, no nothing. It just fits my um, fit perfectly. The only thing I had about the Pro version or the Romine Evo uh, version was that you couldn't get it in a S Works edition. I think the the Pro was the was the top of the range at the time, and weighed just above 200 grams, which is not a lot for a saddle, uh, and that was with carbon rails and everything. But I really hope that Specialized would do an S Ver S Works version of it, um, because. For me, it seemed like it would be pretty easy to shed some weight off it. It was it was not heavy, but it could be lighter. So I was very thrilled. Uh, I think it was about a couple of months ago when I stumbled across the S Works version of it, um, and when I was fortunate enough to be able to build up a new bike, I wanted that uh, saddle instead of the Pro version. So. All in all, this should be pretty similar. They should have the similar shape. They should have the similar padding. It's just reduced weight overall. So this is the saddle. This is the S-Works Roaming Evo. Um, they, it's the 143 millimeter width. Um, it has carbon rails. It has, I don't know if the underside of the saddle is also carbon is extremely light. I don't know how they did it, but they took off about 70 grams to this. The claim weights, I, I think, for this version is um, 134, 135 grams. I'm gonna weigh it now. Um, it comes in on my scales at 130 grams. 
very light for a saddle that's still comfortable and still has some some decent amount of uh, of padding. Um, it looks really great, at least in my opinion. I wonder why they don't make it in white. Um, they have this one in black and they have one in red as well, but but no white. Um, but that's okay because I'm gonna ride with the black anyways. Um, yeah, that's about it for this saddle. As you can see, and if you read about the Roman Evo, uh, as compared to the regular Roman, uh, it's shorter, um, but it should be around the same shape, I think. I haven't really done much uh, about it, or look into it that much. The funny thing about this saddle is when you put it down, it actually tilts a bit upwards, um, making it very light in the front and a bit heavier in the, in the back just goes to show how much weight they actually reduced. Funny thing is, if you've watched my uh, video about my, about my winter bike, is that I have a Cell Italia flight on it, and I never really got comfortable on it. it, it I can sit, I can ride on it without any problems, but it just doesn't feel as right as riding with the, uh, the Romine Evo. So I just recently, um, ordered this one that I'm going to put on uh, the winter bike which is also a Rumin Evo but this one is the expert version so they make it in uh, is it the expert hmm. I'm actually uncertain if it's the expert or the comp I can't really remember the the grading on specialized saddles but it's the uh, second lowest version so it's not the the cheapest version but it's the number two cheapest version Exactly the same um, shape, exactly the same padding, exactly the same, almost everything. Maybe this has a little more padding to it. Not really sure, but it's going to be great on the winter bike at least. This one is a lot heavier. When you pick the two up, you're in no doubt that this is a heavier and cheaper version. It doesn't have the carbon rails, it doesn't have the carbon underside. I think it's some sort of titanium that they blacked out in, in a way. Um, but this is really heavy compared to the S-Works version. Of course, it's going to be cheaper as well, but it's about 50 to 55% cheaper than the S-Works version. Um, I'm going to weigh it now. And I don't know what the claim weights are for this, but it comes in at my weight on 273 grams. So more than uh, double as heavy as the S-Works -works, S -works version. That's kind of a hard word to say, S-Works version. Anyhow, it is going to be great on the winter bike because we'll have no problem with the added weight at all. Um, it's just uh, making sure you're comfortable. Um, I really like the shape of it. And yeah, can't wait to try this, this on the winter bike and see if it helps uh, me get a better precision. And can't wait to put this on the summer bike to really lower the weight and hopefully it'll be as comfortable as a pro version. So that's about it for the saddles. Uh, remember to subscribe if you like these videos because I'll be posting them regularly. I'll also post a video about the helmet and how it's done, show some more pictures of it. Um, it's pretty simple, it's just need some finishing touches. But um, until next time, bye.